Look around. It's really good. It's a really good game, Midori, mate. It is. Um, it's not the best looking game you'll ever play. But it's it's super fun, you know? Which, to me, matters a bit more than how, how a game looks, you know? Some of these, like, little platforming things are fucking annoying, though. Right, where am I going? To the middle. Okay. I like some of the like little challenge zones of a ball lake, but the story and like the, the proper gameplay, fantastic. Dude, I never played the uh, the DLC set. Mind, I never played seven really. I watched the missus finish it and I was like, okay, I've seen it now, you know. And I can still remember quite a bit of what happened in it, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, fuck this. Let's just keep going. I really enjoyed Resi 8, though. I thought that was fantastic. I really did. Yeah, they've um, brought it out so you can play play it in third person, like the other Resi games. And uh, you play as his daughter, right? In in the like the, the story add on then. Yeah, I thought eight was fantastic. A couple of bits and they got me, you know, proper made me jump. <laughs> I appreciate a well done jump scare, not just loud noises, you know. I think, like, the loud noise jump scare is kind of cheap in games. Oh, my God. be dead I'm dead I'm dead the shadow oh dude I can imagine I watched uh, I watched my cousin do it on is it Village of Nightmares or something the difficulty is? Fair play to him, man. You know what I mean? Um, why? Dude, we got 99 of these things. Oh my god. Make a couple of the damage ones. Um, let's make some health ones. I love it, Pip. I love it. I really do. Um, playing as Viola is okay, but I much prefer to play as Bayonetta. Dude, the combat is fucking quick. 
like some some places man my my eyes and my brain just can't keep up you know it's it's fast it performs pretty well uh, i haven't noticed too many performance issues it looks a bit better than the first two but not much do you know what i mean like it's a switch game you know but for the most part it performs fine but it's uh, it's super quick It's probably quicker than the first, first two. Dude, that's not bad. I've got, I've got Monster Hunter Rise yet. I haven't played it yet, though. I haven't played it. I probably should give it a go at some point. To be fair. If you want to play, uh, if you want to know about Monster Hunter Rise... Pip is the guy to speak to. I watched him play that game for fucking hours. shit on you The thing I, the awkward thing with Viola is, they've switched how to activate which time it's on R1 instead of R2. Oh my god, I'm getting absolutely fucking fingered. done it twice of you, Pip. Oh, shit.
Oh. Ah, shit. The cutscene's got me. Oh my god. Just like Freddy Midori. Just like him. Daddy, would you like some sausages? I, I did it just so I could have a refresher because I, I played through the first one a couple of times, maybe three or four. The second game I have only played once, so I really want to go back and play that one. But yeah, I would, dude, because you can get, um, like I said, uh, one and two was like 50 quid for the two on Switch. And then the third is about the same price, you know. But I think they're, they're all worth a go. Yeah, the first two I games perform like I didn't notice any performance drops at all on on the uh, the first two games. I've had one or two on this, but nothing major. I'd say it's worth giving them a go, Pip. Um, they're much better, I think. Much the combat's more fluid and stuff than what the Devil May Cry games are now, like the DMC reboot and DMC Five. You know. So I'd say it was worth it was worth giving them a go, to be honest. But I've I've thoroughly enjoyed them, and some of the weapons and things in this absolutely ridiculous, like just absolutely fucking mental. They are well with the, the, the go around, you know. Because I was watching you play uh, Delve May Cry last night, and I'm with you a lot of the issues of that game. It's it's very slow. I didn't really like the characters in it that they force you to play with. And I'm kind of getting that a little bit with this, where they want you to use uh, Viola instead of Bayonetta, right? So I'm getting a little bit of that with this. But not as much, if you know what I mean. What have we got? Madam Butterfly, Malfast, Bal. Let's use Bal. Oh. I quite like that. And I do love a spear in games. Can we uh, can we get some upgrades? <laughs> oh, what's this? Dude, that's pretty cool. That's like the uh, the feudal Japan one. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no! 
there's me saying the combat's a lot faster than Del May Cry. This spear seems a little bit slow, man. I'm not gonna lie. Only a little bit. It's not it's just not as fast as the other weapons. Got him. Spear's pretty cool. I see. Is there any way? Because there is a way to upgrade stuff. Like your comp. There it is. There it is. Ball. Ball's pretty cool. He's like a giant toad. this hold R down and punch hold R or you can do forward forward This could be powerful. Another another bayonetta. I have you now, Papillon de Ombre. No one is above the law. A pleasure as always, Inspector Enzo. A pleasure, she says. Oh my Let's god. See how pleasurable you find jail. This is ridiculous. We have no time for the likes of him. What? Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> After them, we must not let it fall into their hands. Get back here, Mert. My wife hates it when I work late. Oh, what? 
Oh, that's cool. That's well cool. Mummy. Mummy. I have no idea how to say half these words, lads. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna joke. No idea. Asking me to come along? Then we'd better be off. Oh, a new summon? It's about time I got moving again. It's about time I could... <laughs> I can't wait to cut loose the spear man once I've linked like the uh, the combos and shit. Oh my god, it's so dark. Oh no, is this gonna be This is well weird. Let's go have a look in the gates of hell then, boys. See what we got. Let's see if we can buy some any any cool shit. We will pick up a save, though. 